Hello everyone. Today we're going to be going through the mobile version of Google Drive. You can easily access it through the App Store if you have a Mac product or the Google Play Store um, if you have an Android product. Um, one of the first things you're going to want to do is to download the Docs, Slides, and Sheets applications while you can aren't actually using them. So, the first thing we're going to do is just sign in and you'll see that on the bottom left hand corner. Now, what it will do is to automatically bring you to sort of the Google home page where you can see a bunch of other email addresses if you have any other Google accounts, but you'll want to use your AACPS account. Now, once you are signed in, it's going to take you back to the Google Drive and as you can see, the layout is very similar to, say, a computer or a Chromebook based um, one that you would see in class, but it is a little bit different. Now, what we're going to do is just go through a few of the features available. If you look on the lower right hand corner, you can see a plus sign. When you click that, it's going to give you a number of options. You can access folders, you can use your camera, you can upload materials as well as access the three main Google applications. Now the first one we're going to be looking at is the Google Docs application. And this is your simple word processor that you can use to say respond to homework assignments, write an essay, really anything you would do a normal word processor. Now if I click Google Docs, it will take me to the Google Docs homepage. Now for this, we're just going to create a test document so you can see some of the features. We'll call it test. Now, once you get there, you'll see a very simple interface that looks like this. You can begin typing. And just like the Google Drive or Google Docs on a regular computer, it will automatically save your work. Now, to access the menu, you'll click these three dots in the upper right hand corner. And it will give you a few things. If you want, say, a print layout so you can prepare something to be printed, you can click that. Um, you can tally things like word count. You can share and export it, as see down here. And one of the cool things about this is the available offline option. That allows you to edit this option if you don't have access to Wi-Fi or anything like that. So it's great. Now, just going to save it by clicking that, and we're going to go back to our drive. Yes, we'll do this later. Now, the next thing we're going to be looking at is Google Sheets, and that's basically their version of Excel. And this is great if you have to create data charts, tables, all sorts of things. And just so we can see it, we'll just click Test, and we'll go to Create. And once again, as you can see, it looks very similar to a computer-based version. It's laid out in a similar fashion. And if we click those three little buttons in the top right-hand corner, you're going to see some of the similar features that we saw in Google Docs. Now, going through this, one of the great things about these Google programs is the ability to collaborate with other people. And to easily do that, you can click that little plus sign next to that person. And what's great about this is you can access any other person in our county system. So you can access other teachers, other friends if you're doing a project together, so on and so forth. So if you want to have them look over assignments, maybe work together, collaborate with you, that's how you can do it. So we're going to X out of this and go back to Drive. And lastly, what we're going to be looking at is Google Slides. And this is their version of PowerPoint. And just to see, we'll create another test program. It's going to look very similar to your normal version. And one of the great things about using these applications on here is you can start things, say, at school on a computer and work on them on your phone or tablet. And you really won't see a lot of differences um, in your options and features there might be not as many options on the mobile device, but in reality, it's going to be very, very similar to, say, a Chromebook or a desktop computer. Now, lastly, going back here, 
If you click on these six little boxes in the upper right hand corner, that is going to rearrange your folders. So you can see I have a lot of folders, as well as give you the option to access past files, things that I have, documents I've shared with other people, so on and so forth. And lastly, by clicking those lines in the upper left hand corner, you're going to be able to see items that have been shared with you, maybe photos you wanted to upload, the offline feature as we talked about earlier, as well as team drives. And team drives are great if you want to have large pieces of information to share with one another. So in conclusion, as you can see, this is very similar to something you'd be working on in school. Um, on a Chromebook or a desktop, and it's really a great way for you to have access to it through a mobile device. Thank you.